Hello guys, so today's uh, stream, we're gonna do something a little bit different. Well, not different, but it's gonna be, uh, I've been putting this off for a little while now. It's basically tiling this box. And this box just has all the mechanical stuff inside. The, you know, the homeowner, because we're on the slab, wants to make sure that they're able to access all the plumbing. So we're going to build an incognito kind of secret, um, secret like a uh, door here basically the way and i've been thinking about this for so so long and i tried to figure it out but um first thing basically the tile process is going to go with this piece of tile and kind of working around so then i have a nice flat surface to then know exactly where to put these two pieces of tile so what we're going to do on today's live or stream is basically i'll show you how i'm going to make a template of this so you see that this laser right here it's right inside our grout, grout line over there. And then that grout line, I wanted to continue this way. And then that grout line continues over to here. And then, you know, I'm, I wanna have a grout line right through here. So that's kind of what we're gonna be working on. If you guys have any questions, make sure that you're asking. Alex is reading the comments. Uh, I'd really, really appreciate questions. So then we can keep the live a little more fun. Um, yesterday's stream was cool we got this wall done um a lot of there was like good engagement you guys were into it so uh, i feel like i'm learning this if you guys came here to like like oh let me learn from the best i'm not the best at this i do enjoy showing it i'm still learning this stuff so be nice in the comments like i know some people are like bro like learn the trade before you talk about it i'm like why like you know like why not show you my steps you know because then two years from now like you guys would be like bro i remember when you sucked <laughs> but i i think i'm better than half of the people out there but there's still so many good people out there um so if you guys think that i should continue here let me get that stripped so if you guys think that i should continue these streams and whatnot and kind of sharing my kind of growth process definitely make sure you hit that like uh that's kind of how i know alex come on this side so that they can see um what do you guys think where are you guys tuning in from? Do you guys think that we should continue this stuff? I'm having fun with it. Isn't that like what it's about? Like just having fun at work a little bit? I feel like people that comment are just probably miserable. Or they just hate that like, I don't know. Maybe they're not. Maybe they got some stuff going on in their life. What do we got there? No hate, bro. Huh? Someone said no hate, bro. No hate. Um, so we're going to start with making our template first. Because this, I mean, I can't measure out like this bend and kind of this angle here. So I'm going to template it. Because um, I think that's the easiest way. If you guys have any questions, just shoot them and Alex will answer them. How long have you been doing bathrooms? So full-time bathroom renovation. At this point, like three and a half years. Uh, probably going on four years. We did. I did like uh, just general renovation before. And kind of sucked at that like it wasn't really i didn't do a good job with that so then we decided to focus more on just one specific thing and then ever since we did that just doing bathrooms has been like the best decision we have done but what we're trying to go into is more of like the higher end bathrooms just because what i'm noticing is there's no competition at the higher end bathrooms when you're trying to do budget bathrooms or like you know, you're competing with people on price, there's endless amount of people that will give you a better price and all this stuff. But if you're going for quality, there's not a lot of people who are willing to just get better at the job itself. So that's, you know, what I at least found that figured out is that it's much more fun to try to be better at the job than it is to uh, compete on price. Because price then like you have to work faster and like I don't like to work super fast because it's stressful. Michael M, I'm having fun. I'm having fun, let's go, good. I'm, well, mis I'm miserable because I lost my job because of the vaccine mandates. Well, you can get into the construction if you want. There's this endless amount of work in construction right now. There's so much work in construction right now. But, you know, just because, like, I'm, I feel like my style is pretty uh, lax. Like, I don't think I, like, patronize people or I don't think I, you know, um, 
tell people I'm the best at some stuff or like, so I don't understand why some people just don't uh, like me, I guess, or don't appreciate what I'm doing. But maybe it's just because I'm new. Because I'm new, making moves or something, I don't know. All right, so first thing, basically I'm gonna put a little dot of glue here. Don't go crazy with it. Yo, this glue is hot. I just got this glue gun and the glue. We need the goat is back, lol. We need the lowercase goat. I know, he's got it all capitalized. <laughs> lowercase goat. Watching from the Southeast Pennsylvania, nice streams, I enjoy them. Let's go, thank you so much. Do you have a partnership with KBRS? With KBRS? Um, I do. They, uh, I do. They, um, they're my tile, you know, I had, basically, earlier on, when, like, I started all my social stuff, I had, like, a choice to either, basically, I had a choice to do either a whole bunch of different shower systems, and then, you know, test different ones and tell you guys, like, whatever, or just pick one that I really liked and stick with that one. And obviously because of the size of like Instagram and TikTok and all that stuff, I had an opportunity to partner up just about with anybody I wanted to. And I chose KBRS because I genuinely do believe it's the easiest shower system to install um, for my type of followers. And I think my type of followers, a lot of them are just kind of getting going and figuring things out. Um, so that's why I chose KBRS essentially. I don't like the like how some channels are kind of all over the place. You know, they're promoting different systems and then you're like, well, which one do you actually like? You know, so it's like, are you just promoting this because they're paying you or do you actually like that shower system? So I didn't want to do that. And I decided like, hey, I'm just going to go with one shower system. And that's why I chose KBRS. I'm in Australia, Victoria. No one can work without it. There's going to be a riot soon. That's what they Oh, the vaccines. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Yeah, I know s some countries are, you know. I don't know. We're, we're happy that we didn't miss a week of work throughout this whole thing. When, like, COVID hit, the project we were working on, um, the peop people were out of town. Like, they weren't living living there. So for us, it was a very easy, like, hey, we'll be there. Just don't come when we're at, at the job site. And like, they were cool with that. And um, we were just kind of doing everything remotely with them and they loved it. So it kind of worked out cool. How many people we got? Uh, 28. 28, let's go guys. I really, really appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, the goal of these lives is to build some type of like mini army, <laughs> just like, I want to like over deliver so hard for you guys with any questions you have or anything like that. So then, um, you know, when I post videos and whatnot, like if people are mean to me, you guys have my back. <laughs> Do you recommend KBRS over Schluter? Yes. I genuinely don't like the, the Schluter shower system. I think it's way over complicated. Um, I think the fact that you have to take a three day course to learn how to install a shower system on its own shows how complicated it is. It's ridiculous. Um, and But at the same time, like I've only done it like twice and the both times I did it, I hated it. So I was like, I am not doing that shower system. But if you have done it for a while, the best shower system is the one that you can install right, you know? Um, but if that's kind of why I'm not a big fan of that one. Watching from Dubai. 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 Thank you for sharing that. Yo, let's go. That's so far away. Thank you for tuning in. That's sick. Well, so last question and I'll let you continue being great, bro. When going curbless, is there a shower door you recommend specifically? I'm going curbless. I think hinge doors curb with, with curbless do a little bit better than the like sliding barn doors because the hinge doors have that sweep at the bottom where the sliding doors have that gap. And if you have that gap, then you have to install like a little transition piece, like that little metal transition piece. So I think like folding doors would be better. That's what they're going to install here. They're not coming for weeks. 
because they're so backed up. Um, I'll show you, I guess, once it's all done, but it's going to take a minute for them to actually come and install that. I am the Americans. Don't go one second. Take your rights for granted. Thank you. Um, all right, so I want to get this curve. I mean, I just think this is easier in terms of like me the, doing this than trying to measure this out um, versus trying to figure out all this stuff. The faucet we took out because it's the wrong, like the faucet that was installed was not the right faucet. So we're waiting for a replacement. And honestly, that's what's going to be kind of clutch with this access door because we'll be able to install it from the back. We'll be able to install it from the back, drill the holes in our tile and, and do all of that stuff, which is pretty sick. All right, so this is flush with here. I want this tile to come out about five eighths of an inch because our hidden panel is going to be inside between these Schluter strips. So this right here, I'm happy with. Now what we do is we're, actually let me reinforce this middle just real quick so it's not bending anything. Where can you even buy KBRS? Looks like it only shows installers uh, you can buy KBRS on showerbase.com. It's 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 an online uh, thing. Looking good, bro. Let's go. If you guys appreciate these streams and it would help me out, help the algorithm out. If you guys just throw a like, um, we should start a like squad. You know, who's in the like squad? The little pry bar over there, Alex. Yeah. Lake squad. Who's in the lake squad? Lake squad. Hashtag lake squad by RT Logic. <laughs> Who? Uh, RT Logic. Hashtag lake squad. Let's go. How long does it does a typical bathroom take you? So. Usually it used to take us about four weeks. I mean, and we do f from gut to painting to everything. We don't just install tile. Usually it takes us about five weeks, but ever since all the social media stuff and kind of that's become my part-time job, essentially, um, it's taking us closer to six weeks because I just, you know, I have, I spend time on that as well as I do on, on tile and, you know, building showers so typically now like this bathroom is six weeks smaller ones four weeks all in um, and then you know that's not including all the design and all the communication that happens beforehand that Catherine does so my wife deals with all that stuff Really? Yeah. Dude, I appreciate, I appreciate that so much. I'm um, really, really trying here. I hope you guys see the effort that I'm like, genuine effort that I'm putting in. Like the goal is to over deliver on like just being helpful. There's like two ways to grow. Like you either have like this amazing, amazing content that just people have nothing, like, you know, can't resist or something. Or you just be a nice person and help as much as you can and show whatever you can. And I think I fit better into that category. So if you guys ever have any questions or anything, tomorrow you can come and ask. And like, if you're working on something, so it'll be cool. And you'll see like two years from now, we'll be friends because of like today, you know? All right. Crypto so Pitbull. I'm there. I'm the light squad. Light squad, let's go. All right, so we have our uh, template. Now, this is my bottom. This is the top piece here. Um, looks like we're going to, I'm going to line up the top, line up here. See, it looks like we're going to have to take a little bit off right there. Do nice guys finish last? 
do nice guys finish last? Yeah. Was that a question? Yeah. No. I believe nice, like, it depends on what. Like, do nice guys finish last in, like, a, a deal? Because you weren't, like, ruthless or something? Maybe, but do nice guys finish last when they're, like, going to die? Yeah. No, no, because you live a happier life. I feel like mean guys are usually pretty miserable. And the reason they're mean is because they're miserable inside. So I don't believe nice guys finish last. Do you do the plumbing yourself? Um, if it's something super simple, like installing a shower valve, yes. If it's like a brand new bathroom that we're adding and it has to be permitted and all that stuff, then no, we're not. Is it legal? No. Like what I'm doing? No, but like no plumber will come to just install a, a shower valve. Um, at least where I live. They're too busy doing like real, like actual big jobs. All right. So we got this. See, like that was pretty low effort. So now what I, we need to do is get a, uh, a diamond bit that kind of has this circumference to it. Not circumference, she's radius, kind of like that. We'll drill that and then make th these two cuts and then we have this piece. All right, let's go outside and do that. Where did you pick up your tile from? Um, so this is Anatolia tile. We sell it at our store. We have a, uh, like a studio. I got to show you guys probably this weekend, our studio that we have, um, we just sell tile to our customers and nobody else. Like we're not like an, like a tile store. Um, but it's been such an awesome like thing for us. Oh, oh there it is. There we go. All right, so I got my little Ruby cutter here. So what I'm trying to do is then match this radius. I think it's this. Why did you make a frame and not just measure and mark the tile? Because I have like, I'm not 100% uh, um, confident in my measuring skills. I, I don't know how else to say it. Like right here, this is five. This right here is like four, five eighths plus. And I feel like if I do it this way, I know it because the, the tub has a little bit of like angle to it. And I just feel like this is a little bit easier for me to do. Um, I, I don't have enough tile to like mess it up. And I know I get, I get made fun of that for like, dude, we put a man on the Mars and I was just like, well, I, I'm, I didn't go on Mars. I mean, I'm just not that smart, but I know a hundred percent confident that I like this was done correctly in terms of like measuring it, not measuring out, but I guess stenciling it or whatever. All right, so we have water here, Alex. There's some water. There's some water here. So this is a little pump. That. Who's that? Spaldo. Spaldo, what's up? We're working on that access panel today, the, the hidden access panel. It's gonna be sick. I've been freaking out about it for about a, two weeks, kind of procrastinating on doing it. All right, so I'm gonna line up that radius right there. And this suction cup comes in here, hugs that. Right there. Yo, if people are saying like mean comments, you can read them too. Nobody's saying anything. If you guys have any questions, you can throw those out. Uh, Alex is reading. We got some snow today. It's pretty bad this morning. It's a couple, a couple inches. All right, so then I'm gonna, gonna just fire this up. A little bit of water. Dedication to the perfect part, which more than I appreciate for the finished product. I'm impressed. 
Thank you. Yeah, wait till you see what it looks like once it fits in. It's gonna be like eighth of an inch max. This bit is a little bit old, it's probably a year old now, so you can see it. Um, that just punched right through, but look how clean the cut is. Yo, throw a like if you guys didn't know this tip where like you basically drill out the radius and then you cut these straight marks. So now we're going to set up the, line up the saw. I always do my shorter. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate you guys watching this stuff. Really appreciate the likes. The likes help the algorithm kind of push this live out to more people. Uh, I've been like... Paul, hello from Scotland. Hello. I've been debating like, do I focus on like content or do I focus on uh, these streams and try to perfect these streams and make them more fun? And I feel like the streams are a better opportunity to build like relationship with the like the viewers, the audience, than just pumping out more content. In my opinion, what do you guys think? What is the water for when you are drilling? It cools down the blade, so then the blade doesn't get too hot, because when it gets too hot, it burns out. Um, like imagine brushing your teeth without getting the toothbrush wet. You know how it's kind of gummy if you don't get the toothbrush wet? So it's kind of like, that's what that kind of does. All right, we line this up. Now we're just gonna cut it. Cause it kind of, cause it gets stuck, you know? Cause all that um, kind of like sawdust or cut dust gets stuck in the groove and then it gets kind of gummy and, and uh, ch yeah, causes it to stick. And when it sticks, it kind of kicks the blade. How much did your tile saw set up cost? This saw is 1200 bucks. Uh, it's like 1250 or something. If you guys get it at two locker with their, um, the wholesale club, it's, you save like 150 bucks. So you could get it close to like 1100 um, for that. Um, it doesn't come with the what? It doesn't come with the 
Oh, the skirting? No, that's because we put a heater in there because it gets so cold. And things get frozen. But no, it's, it's a $1,200 saw, which is not crazy. I mean, you think like of those DeWalt saws. The, the DeWalt saw is like $850. That's not cheap. So for extra couple hundred bucks, you get this monster of a saw. I would do it. All right. See, like, you just line it up really nice. research position in grade and grad school, desk job in the government, but I wish I had just learned a trade. I don't, honestly, there's, there's a weird stigma about the trades. They're like, oh, you're stupid, or like you couldn't get into college, so you got into the construction field. And it's one of the things that like, I went to school for civil engineering. I took an, I had an internship four times and I hated it. Every single time I, I, I had that internship, like a new internship, I hated it more and more and more. So I was like, screw it, my passion was construction, so I just went into it. But like, I'm not dumb, you know? But like, there's like this stigma, like I don't know why, there's a stigma about, um, here Alex, you wanna kinda just hold this down right here? See right here, I need to just kinda get this radius this way a little bit, so I'm just going to use the back right here, or the side of it. see how we did um but yeah that's one of the things i'm i'm like working on and why i, I want to make social media not social media but like construction look more like an, as an actual career for people i still have to cut this you gotta sell t-shirts sell t-shirts nah nah i don't want to be that guy i will do like i want to do i'm not gonna sell them i'm gonna like give them away um but i want to do like limited drop like 50 types of like 50, you know, 50 t-shirts, limited drop, and just kind of give those away because I think that's going to be pretty cool. Um, $250 for a rigid saw at Home Depot. 250 bucks, that's, that's what, the small one, the seven inch? Or no, that's the, that's the seven inch, right? The little push one. Hold on, let me just cut this.
All right, so let's see how we did. Yo, if this is a tight cut, if this is a tight cut, I get a like. Let's make a deal. If not, you guys can all leave. This is the difference between templating and measuring. Like templating, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be pretty good. Measuring, I don't know, maybe I just don't have enough experience, but measuring, I'm like, I don't know. Like, I hope I didn't measure off weirdly. Uh, let's see. Just finish the pile of duck. Had you come watch you, still haven't cleaned up yet. Let's go. I'll appreciate that here. Come on this side, Alex. Is this live live? This is live live. All right, let's see how we did. Damn, that saw makes a difference. Look at that. Look at that cut. I mean, come on, is, is this look? Right? Drop throw, them likes. Drop them likes. Throw the like if you think this was like le le legit, uh, the way I, I just did that. <sighs> that's 100% true on the stigma, going back 25 years. Yeah. That's why I went to school. Like I knew I wanted to do construction, but I was like, damn, construction, well, I don't want to be the dumb guy. So let me do... Uh, construction, I guess, which would be engineering. But then like you realize an engineer is just a desk job. It's not like, um, I wasn't into it. So spent $80,000, dropped out my senior year. And uh, now I'm here, but. Joseph, you're definitely right about the stigma out there. My dad was a pipe fitter, uncles are electricians and welders. Yeah. Are we getting likes for this? Yeah, we are. We're getting likes, all right. But he, he, look at this. So like you see my, uh, my laser is touching just the tip right there. Um, and this is not as clean as I can do. So I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna go like this. And then we're gonna cut that to get that a little bit tighter. And then I think this radius, I wanna drop it down a little bit. So I'm gonna go like this. The tub, don't worry about it because the fence I will push out and cover that Sharpie. Kinda go like that. And kinda go like like that, and then, and then at the bottom, I'll probably need to just adjust that a little bit, just so I can get get the sharpie, not the sharpie, the laser lowered, because this is my grout line from the other side, and this grout line has to continue over this way. So we're just gonna go and clean this up a little bit. Hello from Birmingham, England. Me and my dad are watching you from way back in school. Let's go. Thank you so much. That's so cool. I was talking to somebody from. Uh, from uh, New Zealand yesterday, we had like a, a chat and uh, it was like instantaneous. It, it didn't, it, there wasn't even like half a second lag between talking. Like how crazy is that? Like that you can do that in today's world? Like how connected it all is? It's pretty legit. At what, at what point would you say to jump into this career path 100% if one already has a paying nine to five? When it for like have one force the other one out. So start working the weekends. You're gonna have to commit yourself for like one year of just kind of like grinding on the weekends, and then take a Friday off. Like talk to whoever wherever you're working. Take a Friday off, and then take you know a Monday off, and then have those weekends be a little bit longer. And then if you have like if you can line up like three jobs like one after the other one, just do it. Then that's when you know like don't quit and then look for work. You should f have to work and then, you know, find a, find a place. What brand of a blade are you using? That, that's a ruby blade. Um, damn, I don't, have, I don't have the description for... Hold on. All right, let me adjust this really quick.
right, that's good. All right, so this is gonna be perfect. Power tool is on. Yeah. All right, so now we're gonna measure our next piece. We have a video um, on this, so this is a curbless shower, uh, but I guess it's not in the, I mean, it's in the corner. That's in the corner, but it's not a curb, uh, corner. It's the same principle there. So we do have, come on, say. Um, we do have that. All right. This guy makes everything look like he's cutting through butter. It's those blades, I'm telling you, it's the ruby blades. Uh, they're, they're so good. All right, I'm happy with this. I'm not gonna fool around with this too much. You know, the hair of a grout line will not like be, uh, you won't be able to see that. All right, so now we have this piece. So what I can do is measure off the back here and cut this piece. So I'm gonna go 37 and a half right there. So I'm giving myself a little bit of grout line at the end. So 37 and a half, and then, because we're going to miter right here, this piece is going to be miter, so no Schluter strip here. Um, so 37 and a half, let me see if we have something like that already. Here, I'll, all right, so we have this piece right here. Thirty-seven and a half. This is my cut side, so I want the cut side to be at the bottom. Not the cut side, the factory side, sorry. If you guys have any questions, drop them in. Alex is reading them. If you guys are enjoying these streams, definitely throw that uh, the like. That's what helps me. If you guys want to help me. Uh -huh. All right, thirty-seven and a half. Is that what it said? Thirty-seven and a half. So we're going to measure this 37 and a half. 37 and a half here. And we're going to be mitering this piece of tile, which is pretty sick. One second. So this is the leveling system that I'm using. So I'm going to throw these clips, clips in here to measure off of them because I want to be sticking out five eighths of an inch um, above this. Let me just make sure it's level. So this has to be level, as close as it can be. That's pretty level. Bang, who did the framing? Alex did. <laughs> All right, Alex did the framing. All right. So this is our long side, cut that. Now measuring off of this, I want it to be sticking out at least five eighths. So measuring off of there, that's one foot. So one, so 12, five eighths. Measuring off of that, 12, five eighths. Okay, so then here, this is the side that we're going to miter. So 12, five eighths right there, skadoosh. Mike, have you tried the PICA markers for marking? I have not, I'm not even sure what that, it, that is. Sounds cool. 12, five eighths. This is 12, five eighths. I'm gonna make sure I don't mess this up. 12, five eighths. All right, so now what we have to do and what we're gonna do outside, I had to go get my safety glasses, but we're gonna cut this, we're gonna cut this, polish this edge, and then miter it. And I'll show you how to miter. So Alex, if you bring this out, I'll run to my truck and grab my safety glasses. All right, let's do that. I wanna show you guys how to miter this. Basically, we're gonna install this piece next. Now from there, we'll be able to measure kind of our top piece. And then from there, we're going to measure this piece. I wanna make sure that it's like really, really nice. All right, you bring this out. 
Um, and I'll run and grab my safety glasses. They're in the back over here. You got that? Do, 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 do. Huh? How hard this is? But you did it. <laughs> All right. Sorry. I could have helped. Could have done it. I didn't know I was going to run like a gazelle. All right. Hola, amigos. Good morning. Hola. Good morning. Hola. Como esta? De nada. Huh? No. I might do a merch drop. And honestly, I'm probably going to keep it like, because uh, I'm putting so much effort in these streams. I want to make these streams really, really cool because nobody's doing this. Nobody in the construction uh, social media world is investing this much time into their followers and into like their subscribers. And that's kind of how I'm like, yo, I'll be different. So I'll do that. So I might make like 50 t-shirts and give it away to like, to you guys on one of my random streams uh, for free. Uh, I might make like a quick website, not website, quick uh, like email for you guys to like email 50. And uh, the first 50 come, first 50 get. Um, all right, hold on. Does that sound cool? Throw a like if that sounds legit. Basically help you guys out. If any of you, who is it? Good morning. If you guys are wondering, like, why do I do that whole um, kind of score it and then cut it? Because when you score it, you're making this like sixteenth of an inch channel. So then, when you're cutting it, that blade stays right into that channel. Because sometimes, if you're just cutting fresh, I don't know why, but like the blade could bend a little bit or flex a little bit, and then your tile could shift just so, ever so slightly. So if you score and kind of make that channel, then that never happens. And that's kind of something we've figured out. Um, Mike, there are markers for polished tile for precision marking. I used to use Sharpies for work outside and throw all of them away. Where do I get them? Where, where can I get them? Do they sell their like Home Depot or Lowe's? Or is it just Amazon? Oh, that's a huge piece of tile. You wait till you go inside and I'll show you a huge piece of tile. <laughs> We're gonna miter this right now. So we got here. Line that up nicely there.
Do you know where a black sponge is? Uh, black one's inside. Where? You wanna go get it? Yeah. If you know exactly where it is. We're gonna make this. We're gonna make this. All right, so basically that's our cut edge, and the cut edge is the one that I want to miter. Um, so the first thing you do is right here, we have a really nice cut edge, but you do feel, it feels sharp. So you're going to grab one of these ruby sponges. It's a diamond sponge, basically. Um, something you get like your wife instead of a wedding ring, something like that, a box, <laughs> a box of these, and see what she thinks about that but you're just going to basically take that edge off and it makes it feel just like a factory edge. And when you're doing this, go away from the, like don't go up because it could chip your tile. So just down. And you want to do this before you miter because once you miter, that edge gets much thinner and it could be a little more delicate. Eddie from Cali, good tip on the scoring. Bigger blades do tend to flex more than smaller Yeah, ones. you know exactly then what I'm, I'm, I'm saying because like sometimes it's like 16th of an inch. It just like drifts off and you're like, why? All right, so we got that. Safety goggles. This one. And now we're going to miter. So the mitering process is basically, I'm going to, uh, sure this is tight. I'm going to come in here and cut this on a 45, about eighth of an inch away from the edge. And then I'm going to use a polishing pad to come in and then actually, you know, get closer to the edge itself. If you want to kind of show it from the side out. Um, All right, see, so the first pass, I'm basically scoring it and trying to be as delicate as I can and as precise as I can so I don't kind of weave off and hit that finished edge. But now I do have to come back and just kind of clean this up. So this is when I'll plunge my blade completely and then clean it up. Because if you plunge your blade completely first, I feel when it's a little bit more sketchy because um, then you have a little bit less kind of uh, wiggle room there. So now we're just gonna plunge it all the way in and then cut it off.
Dang, so then it's going to look like this. See, it's already cut off. And now what I'm gonna do is grab the polishing grinder that I have. What grit is that diamond you have? So that is, there's, there's no grit. It's a Venom, Venom cutting wheel, four and a half inch. Oh, polishing this one, it's a hundred. This is the hundred, the diamond one. And then this one is also, so now we're going to use this dry pad, also Ruby one, uh, also at a hundred uh, to kind of finish cleaning this up. So let me show you that. I'll probably plug that in first. You should use the respirator. I know, I'm outside, I don't feel that bad. I appreciate you guys worrying about my health. Bridge saw doesn't miter or do you prefer doing it by hand? It's sketchy when it miters. A thin tile like this is just, I don't know why it doesn't, it miters, but it miters better like pavers and like thick material versus skinny tile like this, especially on a, if you're doing, um, Subway tile all day, even like 12 by 24, the 12 way you could do it. But long cut like this, it, it didn't, I don't know why, maybe I'm doing it wrong, but it doesn't matter that well. That is done. Go we'll bring this in. Um, I'll show you what it looks like mitered up there. All right. Let me just clean up this piece of tile. Ooh, this water's nice and warm. Now it's hooking me up. Call in from VA. Hi. All right, let's see how this looks. Hi, everyone. Hi, Winnie. Hello. All right, check this out. Dang. A hundred. For this is a kind of dense porcelain. You need a hundred for that one. If you have like subway tile, a hundred will be a little too rough. This is loose, so I got to take a little bit of this corner off, and it will drop this tile down, and it's going to be perfect here. Uh, 
Well, you see this? So now we have our miter edge, Alex. Now we got our miter edge here. Um, so then I can go ahead and measure out this piece of tile kind of coming this way and miter those two pieces because then we have miter here, here, and then kind of going down. Um, but now that I know this distance 100% because of this, I can go and start measuring kind of like the bottom piece on the other side. Um, so let me actually adjust this just a little bit and then I'll take the I'll take the, the phone and then Alex can go and make some thin set. So let me just adjust this first. So you just want to put your Sharpie on the side and then keep that same. Yeah, it's going to bring it down nicely. That's exactly what we want. And then we're going to be done with this side. Look how nice this looks. So then our, um, the shower valve, the, the tub valve, we're waiting for it to come in. But what's going to be nice is because we're going to have this access panel, we'll be able to do it after all the tiling is done, which is pretty lucky for us. So it's not holding us up that crazy. All right. Um, let's do this. Alex, you're going to start sitting up outside to do the... Let me... Uh, is that going to be our bucket? Bring that with you. Because I think we should be setting it and then measuring. This way we know exact sizes versus just starting to to go for it. Well, let me cut this off first and then I'll take the phone. Somebody said about respirators, 100%, like you should be wearing it. I'm just an idiot. So don't look at me as an example for that. set with that let me have this that's for you um so alex is gonna go mix some thin set and we're gonna go inside and wait for him and i'm gonna take a break i'm not tired um can you open that first grazie so this has been an hour now and we basically just got those two pieces i mean that was a hard piece to uh, cut out i mean in my opinion this is time consuming these miters all this stuff is time consuming but this bathroom is like a twenty-five thousand dollar bathroom so you know um it's kind of what you get i guess with the type of job like this oh, all right if you guys have any questions um i can read them and help you guys out if there's anything uh, why not use a schluter on the edge like of the shower? So on this side, we are going to use a schluter. I didn't want to have a schluter at the top just because I don't think it looks as nice um, as having uh, the miters on the top. Okay, so if you can do a video on building a mock-up shower like one of your displays, but from the, from the framing. Yeah, so in two weeks, not this week, not next week, the following week, we have some time off and I'm going to, we have our uh, studio and I'm going to make some content there. Um, why don't you take your skills to Beantown and live this city life? I don't know what that means. Trailer tour. I need to rebuild my trailer and kind of reorganize it. Um, it's kind of a bit of a mess. Do you guys want me to make a video? Um, And it's going to be exposed edge. Why is the tile longer by the access panel? Is it going to have an exposed edge? Um, I'll show you. So basically, the we'll get to that in a second. It's a it's a brain puzzle a little bit here because like the basically the shooter sh shooter ships are going to kind of be holding it, and then the it's going to be inside the shooter ships. Can you give a recommendation on the saws that Home Depot DIYers can get by with? 
Um, I think the rigid saw is all right. That's the first saw that I started out with and I probably did like two years with it. So like over $300,000 worth of business with that saw. Um, but we for sure, uh, I want to see if uh, you guys want me to talk more about kind of starting um, a tile studio or anything like that. Um, let me know that. Yo, 58 likes. Let's see if we can get those likes up. I know like it's annoying when people ask that, but I think, um, I don't know. I'm trying. I, I don't know why I'm even doing this. I think um, my goal with, with all this, iPhone or Android, uh, iPhone. So my, my goal with this is to uh, do this for a living. Like, so construction content. I really do enjoy making content. And uh, I enjoy construction as well. Like I enjoy really, really, um, I love my job. Um, I know it's unsustainable for me to uh, do this. I would like in terms of, uh, um, I'd either have to grow or give, like grow the company and give up social media or kind of double down on social media and just get better at teaching and educating this stuff. But it's hard because I'm still learning it myself. You know what I'm saying? So it's, uh, it's, I'm impatient. I'm sure a lot of people are impatient, but I'm definitely impatient with this. Um, so we're, uh, I'm gonna figure it out. I don't know. I hope you guys enjoy these. If you enjoy them, throw it like, bang. Um, we are gonna do a, uh, a shower insert video. And I'm thinking about if I should do that all on like a live stream, or if I should make like just one full video and post it. You can reference the streams as well. I feel like if the streams are more educational because then you can actually see it. You know what I'm saying? Were you slow when you're starting out? I feel like I'm taking me longer to get steps done. Um, I still feel super slow. This is five weeks on this full bathroom from gutting to everything we had to do here is five weeks. Um, but what I would recommend, and you guys throw a like if you agree, is I would rather be slow but learn the trade versus uh, be fast and uh, kind of make mistakes along the way. Because um, if you're slower you, and you do still do a good job at the end, you can build good reputation and then you can get more work. But if you're kind of get a reputation that you just come in and you, you know, are fast or whatever, but then like you didn't do a perfect job, I feel like that's a bad reputation to start out with when you're trying to kind of get into the trade. I, I appreciate these live videos. Thank you so much, ER. Um, I appreciate that. I have fun with them. I mean, like I work the whole time. Like, I mean, right now, what is it? 12 o'clock. I'm just waiting for Alex to cut, uh, mix the thin set. Um, I feel like they almost keep me, uh, these videos accountable to actually get like something good done each day. I have those days where I'm like literally getting nothing done and I'm just running around and like, you know, not like just running those errands and things like that. And that's the hardest part about like, I feel like owning your own business and doing the work in the business itself is there's a lot of that time of just driving around and getting things for the job. Um, I'm definitely not very organized. I could get more organized, but that will come. I'm, I'm young. I'm still got so much time to learn all this stuff. So funny, like I, I got invited to talk at a local high school. Um, love you channel, what's the best waterproofing system for the best price? I think it's the KBRS shower system. I, I genuinely believe so. It is a little bit more expensive than Schluter. Schluter's not cheap. Um, it's a little bit more expensive than Schluter, uh, but it's just 100% easier to install in my opinion. But yes, yeah, so, so I got invited to talk to a uh, to a high school. They're just like one of their like their senior class it's myself and like a couple other people but i'm like because i have like a social media following they're like oh you have to come and like talk to them about social media and the impact of it and kind of how it could help you get jobs and how you should use it to like leverage opportunities blah 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 i'm like they're 18 years old like i am still trying to figure my life out and i'm 29 and i feel like my life's a mess and like you know, I still have so much learning and growing to do and I have to go and tell these 18 year olds to get their shit together, excuse my language, to kind of, you know, figure out their life right now. It's so silly. So I think I'm gonna go rogue and be like, 
you guys have to use social media for fun. And, you know, yeah, you could treat it as a resume, but at the same time, like if you love politics, right? Everybody's like, don't talk about politics. Well, if you love political science and you love that, don't be like a hater, right? But like, if you love politics, you should talk about politics on social media because what if you get a job at an office that has completely different political views than you, you're gonna be miserable, right? Like, it's, I think you, you should like post on social media, you should post as if uh, the girl that you're trying to impress, her parents are watching. Does that make sense? So it's like, you still wanna show the fun side of you and the what you like to do, your hobbies, what you're about, like all of that stuff. But then at the same time, don't be an idiot, you know? Um, did you feel like you had to dress a certain way to get jobs? Um, to get like, no, I dress this way just cause I think it's funny. Like one, I think my kids love when I put on these shirts and they think that it's hilarious. Um, so I dress like this one. I think it's kind of like a look on the other side. I love, um, the nostalgia of some of the shirts I wear. Um, I don't think. Our website and kind of our work speaks for itself. I definitely think you can dress bad. I don't know if that makes sense. If you come in in like raggedy clothes and you kind of didn't take a shower for two days, I think that's a mistake. But in terms of like coming in and like, you know, plaid shirt versus a Yoda shirt, I feel like it's more of a conversation piece is the Yoda shirt versus like a plaid shirt. But don't come in like you didn't shower for two days. You know what I mean? All right, Alex just mixed this thin set. We're going to install these two pieces and then we can kind of start figuring out our top piece. Um, it's a lot of talking. Luca Dondich, <laughs> doppelganger. I get Luca and I get uh, Pete Alonzo from the Mets. Uh, are you a Russian and married? Armenian. Uh, I'm from Ukraine. I'm Ukrainian. I was 12 years old when I moved to US. I was 12 years old when I moved to US from Ukraine. Um, good? Yeah. All right. Let's install these two pieces and then we can start measuring, I think, the back side now that we know exactly the lengths here and then kind of go from there. All right. All right so we're done with the hot glue gun technically. So let's put this to the side. So I think, hold on, let's let Alex, huh? Chili, yeah. All right, let's go. So we, now we're gonna, we got our thin set. Alex is gonna get the, you guys back. And then we're going to install these two pieces here and then go ahead and start working on the other side there. Do the top, you know, the bottom piece, top piece, and then this whole piece at the top. Um, all right, you got that. We got this. Huh? Nice. All right. So this is going to be our first piece here. We're going to thin set. So first I'm going to key in this basically meaning that we're just back buttering our wall. Um, I like doing it this way better, like where I back butter the wall and then trial out the tile. I just feel like I get a better um, install that way. If you guys have any questions, ask Alex. He'll read them as we're doing this. I wish I could play music for this during this, but I can't. We'll get banned. I guess I could actually, YouTube has YouTube library of like songs you could use. I could probably play those in the background, but they're just melodies, they're not actual songs. Probably do that. So it's not so boring.
I feel like I should have got these two walls done and then went live to show you the actual panel itself. But this is like the hard part. The panel itself, once these two walls are done, that's not gonna be that hard. Ooh, let's do uh, five names. We can do five names on this. So first five names. First five names, I will write them down here. And then you guys will forever be tiled into the history of this bathroom. Let's do five names. If anybody's interested in doing that. Um, I'll wait. Manny. Manny. M-A-N-N-Y. N-Y. Let's go, Manny. You will forever be in this bathroom. Then, the ghost of Manny. S-A-A-B. S-A-A. B E T T H and then Sabbath Sabbath yeah okay and then Eddie E D D right uh yeah I E I E Eddie yeah and then Alex Alex let's go Alex and then Z A T T E Z A T T -E. E Z Z T Z T. Let's go, guys. You will forever be tiled into Zader. this one. Zader. Huh? Yeah, put an R Zader. Yeah. That sounds cooler. Uh, you will forever live inside this bathroom. Yeah. What'd you guys What'd you guys think about my uh, uh, my my uh, merch drop? Where I like, I'll give away, I'm not gonna charge a dollar for this. It's kind of gonna be like, you know, the first 50 come, first 50 serve kind of thing. Uh, whoa, that was kind of weird. I have some cool des designs. And I'm gonna do it like on a random day, just so that you guys can, uh, it'll be the people who the most loyally watch this stuff. So the story is I'm from Ukraine. I was born and raised there until I was 12 years old. Then when I, I guess when I was nine, my dad left and moved. Well, he didn't leave us. He, he went to United States because he got a, a green card to go to the United States. So he was here by himself for three years until like all of us could come and he moved to New York. So he was in New York for three years by himself, living with his sister, because she was here. Um, and then we got our, our visas, because he came and all that, and then we came. So when I moved here, I was 12 years old from Ukraine. And then I lived in New York for 12 years. I met my wife there, Catherine, and then we, uh, we always wanted to live in New Hampshire because her family was living here at the time. And uh, an opportunity came after my first business basically failed um, to, to work, you know, to, to move. So we were decided to just pick up and move. So we moved to New Hampshire. And that's an abbreviated story on how all that went down. Same person, hey bro, I'm Polish, very similar story. Yeah, that's awesome. Let me get another tile clip, Alex. That's kind of where I first started to do construction, was, you know, when we came here, like, you don't, you know, you don't have money or, like, allowance. Like, my parents were broke because all the money went on coming here. You know, there was four of us, four kids, and my mom, that's expensive, just in plane tickets and everything. Like, you know, let's say it's even like $10,000, $10,000 to like Ukrainian person is so much money. So everything that they had 
went into coming here and, and all the paperwork and all that stuff. So when we came here, we're broke as anything. I think my parents were saying they had 300 bucks. That's what they kind of started out with. So right away, I was like 13 when I got into construction and working with like these Ukrainian guys and doing construction with them on the side for cash. But I loved it. And that's kind of what's like, hey, I love construction. Let me get into engineering. And then I didn't like engineering as much as I like construction. Eddie has, how much more time does KBRS give you compared to Hardy before the thin set uh, sets up? How much hate how cement board sucks up more? Um, a lot more because it's 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 like pla it's plastic essentially, so it doesn't suck out the moisture at all. Like a Schluter has that fabric, and the fabric sucks it out a little bit more than this. This is more like plastic. So I know exactly what you mean with the cement board. It just, but at the same time, you should be a waterproofing your cement board. It should have Red Guard over it or Aqua Defense or any one of those waterproofers. You shouldn't just have straight cement board. Roy, good day, everyone. Hello, Roy. Julia said hi. Hi, Julia. Welcome everybody. So what we're doing today is kind of working on this um, access panel, but I have to tile these two walls and they're mitered on both sides here. From Manny, Eastern Europeans are hard workers. I have many close friends from Ukraine, Poland, Russia. Thank you so much. I think so. They're I think so. I mean, mo there's some lazy ones. <laughs> I mean, everybody's got some lazy ones. But I think as a culture, I, I do think they're hardworking. But I think it's funny because, like, we've gotten back to Ukraine. And kids my age there are not the same as, like, my parents. Because <laughs> my parents grew up, like, during Soviet Union. And they got the freedom, you know. Where the kids my age were born into the freedom. And, like... They're, it's completely different mentalities there because what happens with a lot of those kids their parents are overseas making money and sending it to them <clears throat> and then they're just spending it there because it's so much cheaper to live in Ukraine so it's uh, you know kids I don't know I get spoiled you could say how much is this stuff? what stuff? What stuff? The KBRS system? The whole shower system all in is probably, with the walls and the pan and everything, it's probably just about a thousand bucks. And I know when I was like first pricing it, I was like, geez, that's expensive. But then you just, I mean, pass it on to your customer and see if your customers are willing to pay for it. Our customers were, because one, we give them warranty on our installs. And I feel much safer about installing this than other stuff. So it's five dollars a square foot, which is crazy, or five and a half, five dollars fifty cents a square foot, something like that. It's pretty, pretty cheap. All right. Is that sick? That's cool. That looks so cool. All right. So now. On this side, so I framed this out kind of wrong. And I, I only caught this later on once the shower system was done. Like if you see that right here, this is 37. Then on this side, it's a quarter inch shorter. So it's kind of on an angle. That's why I wanted to do that wall first. So I knew exactly this dimension here. So like 37. So I want my tile to be 37 and a half. So now I can cut this piece of tile here, 37 and a half. And this way I have those two walls perfectly uh, the same. And then the middle, we'll have to mess around with a little bit. Um, all right, 37 and a half. Let's go cut it. So I'll go with this piece. This is all the tile we have left. We'll definitely have enough.
If you guys are just tuning in, our goal today is to finish tiling that entire box. It's been pain in the butt. I've been kind of procrastinating on it the whole time because it's intimidating trying to do that access panel. 37 and a half. 37 and a half. Because I want that access panel to look incognito, basically, as if it's just a piece of tile. And then the way to remove it is going to be just using suction cups. Because um, it's not, like, they didn't want to have, like, doors on it or anything like that. Because they're realistically only going to have to get there in, like, I don't know, 10 years or something. <laughs> I don't know when. But it's not. So we'll see how we can do that. Let's go cut this. Is the volume still on, Alex? Yeah. All right, because the battery might die soon on my speaker. The tile are heavy. I need to weigh them so I know exactly how much they weigh. Once you get the thin set on it and everything, they weigh, I mean, at least 50 pounds. Maybe I'm just a wuss, but it feels heavy. Okay. So I'm going to line it up. That mark, that mark, cut it. Watch your ears. to run out of water. You can hear the pump, like, kind of <laughs> suffocating a little bit. Kind of goes like that. This whole look with the curbless shower and everything is gonna look so sick once it's all done. Today I'm hoping to kind of open it all up, undo all the plastic and everything. Like that. So that is perfect there. Um, this can come up just a little bit. Like so, and then you see our laser right here, right? And that's kind of exactly what we want. Um, I'm touching just a little bit here. Oh. As much as I don't want to do it, but like I have to Touch this up just a little bit here and there just so I'm not touching this tile. You don't want your tile to be touching the other side. 
Oh, so are there any questions or anything? Yeah, one just came up. Beautiful truck, so I regret buying the uh, 10 inch rigid saw. <laughs> the cut goes off Nate on a span of 48 inches. Yeah. Did you try? Because you're just pushing it. That's the problem. The track saw, what's really, really nice, and I think the superpower of a track saw is that you can score it. Like the way you saw me score that. And then, um, you know, I score it, and then I come back and do the cut super, super easily. Because then um, that, that score kind of keeps it inside, you know, the groove. And uh, it just comes out really nice. That track saw is pretty cheap. I mean, you know, the, the rigid saw is not cheap. That's like 800 bucks. Um, so for extra like 300 bucks, let's say you can get that one. Because if you buy it with two locker, uh, through two locker, you can get it for like probably 1100 bucks. Which is not bad at all for it. that monster of a saw. The saw is amazing. I mean, I, I really, really happy with it. I need to start adding the link for that stuff. I have my uh, my own locker. It's like f f through two locker. They set up my own locker essentially. So all the stuff that you guys see me use is just all in that one space. I just have to start linking it down in the description, uh, so you guys can actually do that. Ugh. All right. So I have to cut this just a little bit here, and then just a little bit here, just to make it actually fit nicely, so that I'm not. Um, touching the other tile. So we're gonna go do that and then we'll go ahead and start trialing this out and installing this piece. <sighs> oh, okay. Yes, I'm still in that technique. Bang, oh, the scoring thing? Yeah. Let's go. What, am I kicking it up? Yeah. Sorry. You know what I want? I kind of want pizza. That's what I want. Right? That'd be legit. What's your favorite type of pizza, people? We can go and set this piece. Yo, one of the comments I got from last yesterday's live or stream, like I guess there was a miss. I didn't make a mistake. I think he was wrong about what he was saying, but like he's like, dude, you should really learn how to do this stuff first and then try to teach other people. And then in my mind, I'm like, I'm more just showing my process and kind of my journey as. I'm learning this stuff. I do know I have so much to learn, but it's like, why can't I show my, you know, that? It's like, I don't know why that comment just sticking in my head right now. I feel like I'm kind of annoyed by it. If it was easy, nobody would hire a tile pro. We know how that worked out. Yeah. So if you guys want to boost up my confidence in any way, Having the likes is really something I can go back to my wife and be like, see, this is not a waste of time. They actually enjoy me. Because <laughs> Catherine's like, 
you are wasting <laughs> wasting time like with, the, with with all this stuff. I'm like, no, I think I'm helping some people. So if you guys think that this, these 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 lives are helpful and you want to see more of them, I'm giving this till New Year's. The lives and see if there's any traction on them. You know, I'd like to get a couple hundred a couple hundred likes on each. I think that's the goal, but I know I have to kind of earn that. That's what I think I'm doing with just giving this type of access. I have 2 million followers, 2.6 million on TikTok, and I have 470,000 followers on Instagram, but I'm here doing this with you guys because I believe that this is kind of my future is the YouTube thing. So like, I'd appreciate a little bit of love, I guess. I hope that wasn't cocky. That sounded cocky. What a... Is this the tub where you installed the court shelf? What happened? Uh, yeah. So my wife came and she looked at it and she's like, what is this? This is the wrong, this is the wrong stone. Cause I kind of went rogue on it. I was like, Hey, this is going to be easy. This is going to be easier. Just to install that, that shelf. And then she's like, yeah, but it's a completely wrong stone. Cause this is going to be a piece of tile. The vanity top is going to be a completely different piece of stone. So a quartz shelf is just random, I guess. She's 100% right. It's just like, honestly, I, I should have asked and I made a mistake. So we that's what we did, not yesterday, day before yesterday. We basically ripped it all out and then they did that kind of shelf there. All right. I need names. Let's go. I need five names. Five names. Two, three, four, five. I need five names, and you guys will forever be tiled into this bathroom. Let's see who wants to get on this. Boom, 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 boom. I need names. Des. Des. D E Z. Yep. Ethan. E. T H A N. Ethan. Yep. Max. Max. I know how to spell that. And how you spell this one? Huh? Miguelito. Miguelito. M I G H U E L I T O. U E L T O. Miguelito. Okay. And then Curtis. Curtis. C U R uh, T I S. Yeah. Curtis. As you guys know, English is not my first language. Or English is my second language. So I need spelling. Des, Ethan, Max, Megalito, Curtis. You will forever be tiled into this bathroom. We have names and <laughs> ghosts of people all throughout. We have like 40 names into those tiles. We already have 10 names over here. We got five here. There's going to be another five, another five, and another 10 on this wall. I just feel like it's kind of funny. Imagine like somebody like a hundred years from now is going to be demoing this bathroom. And they're going to be like, what is up with all these names? <laughs> like if they actually see them, it'd be kind of funny. I'm a pro back in Canada. And you do great work. Thank you so much. I made a bunch of mistakes. I'm still, I'm, I'm trying to get better. I, I believe that um, for tile work, you can either go volume or quality. I'm trying to get to that quality section where you can just charge a lot, but you have to do a really, really good job. The volume stuff, like I feel like I would destroy my body just trying to bang out these massive basement jobs or something like that. We're just not set up that way. And where I live, there's just not enough labor that we could find like people to help with that. So as you know, myself and Alex, there's just no way we can bang out basements or big jobs like that. So I want to get into more of these like higher end bathrooms, but my work still needs needs to step up a little bit. Good bit. JBS Tile, I mostly do showers over 15 years in trade. You're doing everything the way it should be. Like, good, nice work. Thank you. See, like, 
I get those comments and I'm like, okay, I'm onto something. And then I get other trolls that were, that were like, you're a scammer or like, I'm like, what? I don't know. People sometimes like just probably comment and like laugh at it. I'm like, cause they like left a nasty comment. And if I'm, if I'm reading it in a wrong mood, I could take it to heart. I do read all the comments from the lives of that day. So from today's live, I'm, I'm gonna read all the comments until tomorrow. Otherwise, like we get too many comments all across. So it's kind of hard to keep up. Plus, kind of so this is Trilite, um, Laticrete Trilite. It's really nice. Nice and smooth. You get pretty good like work time out of it. We've been getting over an hour work time. I think it's cause it's winter. So it's kind of humid. <laughs> And uh, I guess it's not humid, it'd be more dry, but we get good work time out of it. Oh, that is not water. Do what you do, bro, loving it. I'm just starting to. Let's go, appreciate it. All right, let's put this beast in. Come on the side, Alex. I noticed one of your previous lives wasn't uploaded in full. Do you upload the full length vid afterwards or cut it? Hmm. I upload all of them in full. Uh, which one was that? Do you know? What was I doing? Because I, I mean, after I sign off, I just publish it. And it just goes live. I wonder which one that was. Because I'd like to fix that. One, two, three. You're awesome, brother. Watch all, watch you all the time. Nobody will demo that masterpiece. Yo. <laughs> People will. I mean, imagine 20 years from now the weird stuff that people are going to be doing like the tile like there's going to be some like paint painted on tile or something i mean this will last pretty good like time i think in terms of like the look but a hundred percent it's going to change definitely not with these homeowners i think the next homeowner might have a different style good morning to you hello good morning Good morning, where are you? What's the difference between USG and Hamilton Aquamart? Is there a difference in quality? Um, USG and Hamilton, I, I have no idea. I'm sorry. I can't even pretend to understand that. Okay. So you wanna make sure that you're not touching any tile anywhere here, and you're not touching any tile here. Bang. Got no time for that. All right. I should probably throw a level on it. Don't let people bring you down. They sit at home and purposely try to upset you. Just ignore Des from Toronto. Uh, if you are ever in Toronto, let's do a job together. <laughs> All right. I mean, for the most part, I'll be honest, like, I don't get upset about him. It's just like sometimes they'll catch me at the, like, at the wrong mood. And then I'm like, why are you guys so mean? But for the most part, like, I'm all right. I don't, like, I really don't listen to them. I mean, sometimes I just feel bad, honestly. Like, somebody just comes into my page, watches my video, and then has to, like, be negative about it. It's like, what's the point? Like, why, bro? All right, we're pretty close there. We're going with the template this piece. See, so now I'm gonna have a Schluter strip here, Schluter strip there, and then this will get templated. And then I'll only tile it to this board, and I cut this in pretty tight. So it'll kind of be stuck in there. It's gonna be pretty sick, I think. Um, Definitely continue, really enjoy all your comment. Cheers from Montreal. Let's go, I really appreciate that. How many likes do we have? 89. 89, let's get to 100. And then I'll show you how to, t <laughs> I was telling Alex, I should be like, <laughs> in the next 15 minutes, if we don't get to a hundred likes, I'm signing off. He's like, dude, that's so aggressive. I'm like, yeah, that's aggressive. I won't do that. I won't do that. But that's how you can show me some love. It's those, cause then that pushes the algorithm to show that like, yo, people actually like this dude. Um, all right, now, we can go ahead and measure 
we don't have any more of these longer leftover pieces, right? Let me check. Let me check. Let me check. We don't. All right, we'll have to rip into a new one. <clears throat> Let me cut this first. Lovely tiles made. Did a bathroom recently with similar tiles. Great work. Keep it up. Yo, thank you so much. 37 and a half. Just double check. 37 and a half. All right, so we're going to cut this piece 37 and a half. So this is less than 24. So out of one piece, I can get both of these. So I need one, two. We have three pieces there. And so one for here. So we definitely have enough tile, which is legit. Um, 37 and a half. Let's go cut that first. I appreciate your honesty. It's hard to find someone who is a contractor being as honest as you. I would pay extra just to have someone take the extra time to be perfect. Appreciate that. I feel like it's easier because I want to make content, like a lot of content. I enjoy it. So like I don't, it's easier to do it when you're honest because then you just show everything. If you're like, you know, if I have to stage every single thing and have to like make it, then it's so much harder, right? To like realist, like logistically. 37 and a half. Hello. Hello. How's it going? Awesome. It's starting to look like something. Whoa. So Would that, you have slidered the tile around the tub instead of the shooter if you knew not to put the port? Yeah. I would have done it just to like kind of show off. But yeah, 100%. But I, we don't have enough tile to kind of start over, or, nor do we have the time. But 100% just to make it look nice. But at the same time, this, this access panel has to have Schluter strips. I can't do like an, a hidden panel without the Schluter strips, just with the miter, because the miters would chip. So that will have the Schluter strips. So I feel like having Schluter strips and a little bit of Schluter strips kind of looks nice, but I probably would have tried to just miter everything just to show off for you guys. Um, but yeah. 37 and a half. 37 and a half. we were already we, we were okay on tile until they shipped they shipped it to us and two boxes were cracked so that like on its own is four pieces of tile and four pieces of this mess of tile is massive square footage that were cracked and then when we had to reorder it like they paid for it and everything to send us new ones but it took three weeks and that's why we started that other job in the middle of this and then um also, we decided to tile the rest of that wall, and that's why we needed extra tile. Hey, Chef, don't get you. I was busy watching the beginning of your live from yesterday. Almost missed this one, LOL. Well. Made it just in time to catch one today. Hope all is well. Yo, Sheriff, I appreciate it. All is well. I think we're doing all right. We're already finished. I'll show you in a second. Watch your ears. Mute it. You have a mute button? No, I just figured out how to use it. Oh, you, but you have it there? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. That's legit. Awesome. I can watch somebody, imagine somebody like watching this and being like, <laughs> like, oh my God. 
All right, so now I don't need to bring this in to measure this. Um, we have to go and now measure the miter because I need this to be five eighths above the, 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 there. So let's go measure that and we'll come back and cut it out here and then we'll miter it. All right. Oh, Michael, Winnie, you're that man who's giving me that pocket for model my master bath and wish me luck down in Florida. Yo, you can do it. And then you can come here every day to ask questions if you have questions. All right, so let's find the tallest side to make sure that we're, what's the tallest side here? So for us, we want to be, the, a, and a quarter, one and a quarter, 12 and a quarter. This needs to come up a little bit more. Actually, no, this is good. We're on both leveling clips. All right, but then the front. See this right here is a little bit out of level, eighth of an inch. All right, so we want to then measure from this side, and I need this to be five eighths above. So I need this to be 12 and a quarter, 12 and a quarter off of here. 12 and a quarter. This one is messing me up. 12 and a quarter. Because we already have our pitch on this, because this has to be pitched, but we already have the pitch built in. Because when we framed it, Alex, show that. When we framed it, we already framed the pitch into it. So now I just have to make sure that I'm above here, above there, and then we can do it. All right, so 12, 12 quarter is all I need. All I need. 12 quarter, and then we have enough tensive to do this side. 12 quarter. Right. Sheriff, not sure I should thank you for this LOL, but I'm returning my rigid tabletop saw and getting the rigid 7 inch overhead tile saw with sliding table today from Home Depot. Do it. Thank me. Why not? 12 quarter. 12 quarter, 12 quarter. Not yet. It's gonna take a little bit. Twelve quarter. Twelve quarter. This homeowner is awesome. She's uh, she actually follows us. This is like one of our first homeowners that follows us on social media. And then like, <laughs> I'll come in and, and she's like, I saw the video you posted. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh my god. So I have to like be on my game about like what I post. Um, Twelve quarter. 12 quarter, just on the plus side of it. 12 quarter on the plus side of it. All right. All right. Oh, look, we have a small piece here that could fit into that top. We'll have one piece left over. So I have one piece left over. I'm going to practice my snap cutting. You guys saw yesterday how bad that was. I need to get better at it. Some people are giving me like advice on how to do it. And I'm gonna practice. 12 quarter, I need, these pieces are very close to being the same. I need that piece. All right. Get out of here. Grabbing my butt. Oh, right there. Right on the mark there. Right on the mark here. Eddie from Cali, I have the rigid overhead awesome saw. Mute. Hold on, sorry.
Sick. All right. So now we have. She owns a Fox Body Mustang. Of course, she's cool. Yeah. They're selling it if you guys want to buy it. All right, so now we have to miter this. And if you guys missed the little mitering tutorial we had before. So first we have our cut edge right here. I'm gonna grab my, my diamond pad. It's a 100 grit ruby diamond pad. Just to take that, instead of using this, because if I use this, this will round it off and kind of give too much of that um, kind of radius. If you look at the factory edge on this tile, there is no radius, it's just square. So all you need to use is one of these pads and then go away from the edge, like, just like so. And sometimes when we do it like this, we have no idea which one was cut and not cut. It's like you have to look at the back. So you want to make sure you're not coming up because you could chip it. So you're pushing down away from the cut. Thing. All right, now that's the polishing. So we're gonna cut it. So first, first cut I'm gonna make with this is gonna be eighth of an inch away. And then I'm going to uh, plunge my cut and then use my polishing pad to do that. So if you want to kind of like just chill there and sh like come down lower so you can see the blade, that'd be legit. It's gonna get a little bit loud. Yeah.
These are my these are my nice pants, and I'm ruining them. All right, let's go bring this in. See how it looks. And then, we, we, we like it loud. Huh? We like it loud. <laughs> yeah. There was that there was that one guy yesterday that was into the whole <laughs> power tools and troweling out noises. <laughs> what is his name? John maybe? Go ahead, John. Uh, Brian, does your Ruby tile saw cut miters? And if it does, why not put the initial miter with it I feel like maybe I don't have the right blade or something, but it chips them out. I don't know why. Um, maybe I need to practice a little more with it but it definitely chips them out and it's on a huge on a big piece like this i don't know i don't know why maybe when we have that time off we can practice some of those and we can try them live but it keeps chipping them out and it i don't know i don't have enough tile to like <laughs> experiment with it luca is that a Variable uh, speed grinder you use to polish. Yeah, the the yellow one is the Makita one is not the 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 green the green one is not. All right, let's see. Oh, we need names. All right, we almost missed it. All right. Almost missed it. Right, Three one, names, five names. Two, three, four, five names. Five names, and you will forever be tiled into this bathroom. I think this is so funny. I feel like I'm the only one that thinks this is funny, but it's hilarious. Oh. Let's hear it. Aldana, or A L D. A L D. Yep, A N. A N. N A A Aldana. Okay. Brian. 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 One of my good friends is Brian. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, no, no. <laughs> we got Banana Boy. Banana Boy? Yeah. B A N. Austin. Boy. Austin? Yeah. And then Eric. Eric. Just with a C at the end, right? Uh, e R I C K. C K. I C K. Eric. You guys will forever be tiled into this bathroom. Hold on. Sorry, I gotta wipe my hand. Maybe it's just me, but I just think this is hilarious. If you guys think this is funny and you want me to continue that. Brian Sender, I used to watch your lives on TikTok all the time. I got the suction uh, tool from you and the always back butter shirt. Let's go. Well, that's cool. Eddie from Cali, that marker is toast after today. Yeah, that marker needs to go. Do you guys think the tiling, uh, the, the names in the back is funny? Throw a like if you do. 10 people like it. Then it means it's funny. Cool. All right. So here we want to make sure that we clean this up. Eddie, those markers don't last long. No, they don't. They're kind of expensive too. So definitely somebody was saying about other markers. I want to look into this. All right. I need from Cali to get a Pika pencil. Pika pencil. All right, Alex, this way. All right. One, two, three.
How do you like the live videos? Me? Well, that's a question. Oh, they're asking me? Right. Um, I like them. I feel like you guys get to see more. And oh, no, he got it, never mind. He was trying to figure out how to like the live video. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, it should be right there. But yeah, the reason I'm doing this is to kind of just actually show show you more of the process and show you that I'm like committed to you guys to like, you know, help out any way I can. Um, and then kind of grow an actual like, like following of people that like me, I guess. Cause we, we went sort of viral last month, <laughs> gained like 80,000 subs. But I think now like I need to like deliver to you guys by showing you that I'm like, you know, invested into this, like, and I want to do good by you guys. So that's kind of why I'm doing these lives. Um, give you a place to ask questions and all that good stuff. All that jazz. You guys think that's a good idea? Throw a like. Ha -ha. <laughs> Everything is just that. All right. Oh, we got some good stuff here. Excuse me. Oh. This has been a very long live. I think we should just call it a stream. Because I guess some of these gaming streams definitely last hours. So maybe we'll, we're streamers. We're not livers, we're streamers. Not YouTubers, we're streamers. <laughs> we're streamers. <laughs> I should have done this on Twitch. <laughs> Just confuse all the teenagers there. Oh! This is my wife. Put the, that down to say, because of the mud. This is my wife, Catherine. Catherine? Hi. Hello. Are you on YouTube? Huh? Are you on YouTube? We're, we're, we're streaming. We were just saying that we're streamers. <laughs> nice. We're just this looks good. Right? It's going to stick out that far. Well, but channel. see, like this, this side is, it's like I framed it out a little bit wrong. Okay. So now this is kind of what I have to do. Looks, this looks great. Wow. Catherine, it looks fire. Nice. Fire? Nice. <laughs> she won't say it. All right, all right. Don't get too close inspecting this <laughs> stuff because you're going to start, you're going to make me rip all this stuff out. Yeah, it looks good. It looks good. I like the, I like the shooter. So she's the one that designs all this stuff. Let me show you some of her designs. Huh? <laughs> so this is a, I wish I didn't dream you were a liar. I wouldn't come. So, so this is kind of what we present them with, but like, you want to show them? But in a 3D... Yeah. Uh, I threw up on this, so that's why. Well, it's, it's been a couple of weeks now. Or it's been months. a minute. But, but yeah, this is what we kind of show them so they get an idea of what the space can look like. It kind of looks like that. Yeah. The, the door is going to be completely different. But the wall seat, we didn't have... It's funny how that changes. Yeah, this is why we were short, because we started to tile that and we're like, you know, on the picture, this looks nice. But then when we actually went ahead and did this in real life, we're like, damn. Yeah, it, it would look, looks, I mean, it would look awkward. It, it, this looks it, really good. That looks good. Super happy with it. It looks really nice. Cool. Okay. Well, I can let you finish your live. Huh? I can let you finish your live. We got like another hour. Oh, uh, I'm just checking in and popping over. So I was at Isabel. How'd that go? We're good. Put some paint samples on the wall. Okay. Alright, so now we're going to do this top piece. And then we're going to do this door. So basically, are you leaving? No. Oh, okay. You want to go get a pizza? For you guys? Yeah, that'd be so cool. Are you serious? Alright, hold on. If, we have 102 likes. If, oh, all right, how are you? 25. Yeah, that's what they have. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> that looks fantastic. Wow. Right? I mean, we're not, we're not, it's almost there. 25 eighths. 25 eighths. Um.
All right, so now we have to cut this piece on the top here. We have, what is this, 37 and a half. So we're gonna cut another piece, 37 and a half. And uh, we're gonna be not have enough thin set, but this is kind of where the miter is going to come in and actually look really, really nice on the top here. So 37 and a half long. And then, so when you're measuring this top miter, here Alex, when you're measuring this top miter, you know, if we just go from end to end, we are at like 25 eighths, uh, three quarters. So I'm gonna go to five eighths to kind of almost round that off a little bit. Um, the way it's going to look on there, so 20, five eighths, and it was mesh, and you wanna make sure that on this side is the same. So 25 eighths is what we're looking for. 20, Five eighths. This side needs to just. Uh, 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 uh. Let me write this down. Twenty five eighths. A whole bunch of people walked in. Twenty five eighths. I want pizza now that I said it. All right. Do you guys want to see more mitering, or do you want me to like come back in like an hour and do another stream uh, where I actually do the door? we just did that mitering, this mitering. I feel like you guys get the hint. Do you, cause this is gonna take like another 30 minutes to cut out this one piece. Cause I have to miter both of these sides, but I feel like you guys kind of get the gist, right? Or uh, what do you think? Let's get a quick poll here. <sighs> cause this door is next. After we do the top, then I can put a Schluter strip on this side. Let me show you the Schluter strip. Eddie said, just come back. All right, we'll come back. I don't want to waste you guys' time here, but the shooter ship is kind of going to go here like this. He said, do your thing. It's going to be like that. You see? And then we're going to miter cut here. The shooter ship is going to go that way. And then the piece of tile is going to be right up against here. Kind of just super tightly cut. We'll template it. We'll cut it right into that. So I'll show you actually how we do this. So I'll cut out all this stuff and then the actual panel itself, I'll, I'll come back, all right? Um, just so I can talk with Catherine and gotta get back to business. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoy this. Make sure that you like the, the video. I really would appreciate it. I'll come back in a couple hours to basically finish this up. I uh, appreciate you guys. I hope you're appreciating these videos. If not, just let me know what I could do better. Um, cause we're, we're, we're trying to get better. All right. Thanks guys. Say bye Alex. Bye.